Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time on Paper Mario we got onto the XS Express and we made it to Poshley Heights and obtained our Sith Crystal Star. There were a lot of mysteries to solve on that train and we found out that Duplis was actually under the guise of a famous actor named Zip Toad. Right now though we got our final Princess Peach segment of the game and then after that I'm going to do some help quests and take on the atomic boo. Hello tech, what do you want today? Princess Peach, I have, I have reached a conclusion. I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you. When did you ever, like the moment you saw her, you're like, I absolutely have to talk to her and disobey my orders. Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. How do you expect me to do that tech, you fool? The data you procured has been anal analyzed and something terrible is. No, I will not say because, you know, it's up to the main player to find out. According to the data... I hate when games do that, I really do. <laughs> the place where you are currently being imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? As in the big ball of cheese in the sky? But that's... unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? I, I don't even have the correct uniform to go out in space. My pink spacesuit is at home. There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But tech, won't they know that you helped me? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. I must inform Mario about all of this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. It would never was just your problem to begin with. I got dragged into things as usual. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, you traitor. Sarah Grotus, I... It's not what it looks like. She seduced me with sexy talk. In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning on doing with him? I'm turning him off. Cut the circuit and delete all programs and data that caused a malfunction. And uh, if we can delete my internet history and cookies, that would also be fantastic. Ah, uh, Princess Peach, I will never forget you. Memory deleted. Mario, that sounds like an email from Princess Peach. I've been getting emails from a lot of people. How do you know if it's from Peach or not? Mario, I know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. Oh, that's adorable. I never get to go to nice places like that. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... Oh, that's weird. The email cuts off conveniently. Oh, low battery. Crap. Oh my god, they're both on low battery. Oh no, I forgot to charge my controllers. Ah, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember. You took a lot of my money. He looks upset. This is not the I'm giving, giving you back your 300 coins face. I did it. I totally struck oil. Okay, good. Fantastic. There were times that I was covered in oil, weak and ready to give up, but... Oh, in dust. I, I don't know why. I was covered in oil. I'm practically a baron now. Please take this. No, 999 coins. We can at least not go and get this box because now I've got the shoes for it. But I don't remember what's inside. It's a big chest, so it's got to be important. Oh, it's my new hammer. Yes, it is very important. With the next crystal star in place, we can finally fill out the rest of the map. I think this is like a long chapter as well. Like, I I'm pretty sure there's a lot to do before we initially get to the moon. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. We have to get to the moon and save the girl. The problem here is, how does one get to the moon? By the conundrum. Give a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. I mean... Wouldn't we need like a rocket ship or something? You know, something simple we can just sit in the back of. Okay, well, he said it's going to take a, a while, so I might as well go and do what I want to do and save that for like the end of the video. All right, let's see who wants what. Uh, security code, businessman, uh, Chef Shimi. That means I've got to go back on the train. Uh, two doors is on the train and Frankie. Okay, what do you want, Mr. Mob Boss? I can't say exactly what's here, but I can tell you in person. I'll be waiting on the west side. West side is the west side. After returning from Kyoho Key, I lost my wedding ring. Y you lost it as well? Are you for real? I know I lost it after I got back to Ropeport, so it's somewhere in town for sure. If she finds out, I'll be yelling, I love you a billion times. Yeah, okay, I mean... I guess I can go and find it for you, you know, it's, it's the least I can do, I guess, wherever it bloody is. Actually, yeah, I forgot my batteries are dying, so I'm just going to Google it. He lost his wedding ring. This can be found on the east side by using Yoshi to jump across the gap. What? How did you lose it on the east side when we came in through the harbour? You didn't even go to the east side. Okay, hold up a second. I've just seen the flipping video. Where is it? Like here? It's there. When? 
And how did it get up there? In fact, when did Frankie go over here? How did Frankie get up here? I don't even care. He threw that away. He doesn't love Francesca. He wants to leave her. He, he's going to leave her in a ditch somewhere. Let's you play the tube mode game. I don't know what that is. So we'll play that. I don't know. I forgot the code to my briefcase. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Meet me in front of the hot dog stand at Glitzville. Ah, uh, you're that fella. So you're the one who accepted my request. Uh, well, here's the thing. I forgot the code on the lock for my briefcase. <laughs> how, how stupid, huh? About the briefcase code. See, I'm a real chair fanatic. Yeah, anything you sit on. Like the ground, for example? I use the number of chairs in your houses I visited on business as a code. And I'm using Google to figure it out for me because I don't have time. Did you find the code? Yeah, sure thing, chair guy. But you didn't even leave. You just stood there. Okay, so the first one is two. The next one was six. And there's two in this one as well. I swear to God, if this code is wrong, I'm going to throw my phone. And the last one is five. I have opened, yes. Thank you so much. Maybe I can keep my job. Maybe you should get a different job, or maybe they should sack you. Oh, there it is, mate. The hottest dog. A spicy dog made by Zest T that charges you and replenishes 7 HP and FP. That's two points better than the actual hot dog itself, plus it beefs up my attack. Right now, in order to activate the Atomic Boo boss fight, I'm supposed to go up top and spin my hammer on the boos as they try and circle me. Hello, lads. Don't mind me. Just gonna sit in here for a little bit. Come on, someone grab me. Someone grab me. I got rid of them. Nice. Nice. There we go. That's how you activate him. I've never actually done this before. I had to Google secret bosses on this game. <laughs> you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. Yeah. Come and get me if you can. Oh, they're combining. They're getting bigger. Oh, they all want a piece of me. The game's actually losing frames. <laughs> oh my god, Atomic Boo has his own theme. Oh, uh, tattle on him, let's see how bad he is. I can't imagine him being too massively evil because this is the same place Deepness was. Yeah, 4 and four, 40. That's that's nothing, that's fine. We might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. Oh, you're a status effect boss, interesting. I wonder if he can turn himself invisible as well. Why do I always fail the first one? Oh crap, oh crap. Oh, what a perfect super god. What on me? I really like his theme. What's going on? Why, why is it kick so good? That is more like it. Well done. And watch me completely fail with Mario. Um, never mind. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect you to be that easy, to be honest with you, mate, but thanks for the 50 coins. We are five stars away from leveling up again. I think I might invest in badge points again, or possibly flower points this time. Oh, we got a badge. What's this? Lucky start. Make something good happen when you first enter battle. I found it, Mario. I have found a way to get you to the moon. You must go to Fire Outpost, and you must use the cannon there. Yes, who needs rockets when we have cannons? I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. A council on the Fire Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything, anywhere. Great, sounds super, really. So where is this Fire Outpost, anyway? I believe there's a pipe to the Fire Outpost somewhere beneath Rogueport, but I'm not sure of its exact location. That's... Fantastic. Chapter 7, Mario shoots the moon. The poor moon. <laughs> but this is where I'm going to end the video. Next time I play this, my batteries are going to be charged and we'll be going to the moon to collect our final crystal star. It's our seventh, isn't it? Yes, our seventh and final crystal star. Until then, I hope everybody enjoyed this, I'm hoping, short video. If you did, leave me a like, subscribe to my channel for more content like this if you want, and leave me a little comment, and I will see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching.